Sciencing with Master Hamster. What we want to know. How fossils are made. How we're going to science it. Experiment with two different ways fossils are created. You'll need modeling clay, white glue, and something small that's okay to stick in clay. Like a plastic dinosaur, a shell, or your favorite silent ninja action figure. Make sure the clay is soft and smush that sucker flat. You want to make it into a nice thick pancake. Let's use our hands for that. Or a rolling pin, maybe. Try to make the top nice and smooth. Now, press your fossil maker into the clay. Take that, furball. If this were organic material, it would decay and disappear over thousands of years, leaving behind a mold fossil. But we don't have that kind of time, so... Once you've created a mold fossil, it's easy to make a cast fossil. Hey, whose comic is this anyway? Use a glue ray 2000 to squeeze glue into the mold fossil and fill it all the way up. Um, school glue will work just fine. Let the glue dry completely. That could take hours or even a whole day. Phew, then I'm out of here. It's been a long day of sciencing. The next day... Time to peel the dried glue out of the clay. It looks just like a cast fossil. These fossils form when minerals fill up the space left behind when an organism decays. And remember, fossils are made from non-living things. So no making fossils out of your pets, your baby brother, your least favorite superhero.